Hello, beautyachis. It's Ayanda Makeup Mariachi. I'm currently on the road on the way to a gig. And, and I just had a thought because I really wanted to talk about this. Um, I was watching some videos, I think this morning or like last night, I forgot. Um, and it was about like the psychology of like obtaining what we want, like our desires, right? And so there's this paradox. I, I think it's a paradox. It's called the, the backwards paradox. Essentially, it's like, um, and it was made by this philosopher, I forgot his name, it doesn't matter. Um, but essentially, it's like the more we try to obtain something, the less chance it is that we'll obtain it. And maybe the more that we'll hinder ourselves from obtaining it. And it has to do with this, like, I don't know, like this in, incessant, like, desire for us to get something that leads to us kind of like tripping on our toes and like just doing things that we think are like the path to get this thing but like undermine us in some way um and so like this paradox also um poses the the opposite as well which is like the less you try to get something or do something um the better chance you'll have of obtaining it and it's so interesting how that happens because if you think about it i mean i've i've definitely have that in my life um I think the more I have tried to like, you know, um, get a, get into a relationship or like, you know, get to like somebody, uh, hang out with them, go on a date with them, the less, the less it's been possible for me, you know, and it's because I'm so fixated on that. Um, and you know, my fixation definitely comes from like years of trauma and like not knowing how to deal with it. So I've always had that like, um, kind of anxiety and, 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 and desperation to like get into a relationship or like to have that kind of like feeling of love again and that meet cue and the romantic you know day and whatever if you haven't seen my last video definitely go check it out I burned my ex's letters um and I and I had this whole talk about just my trauma and kind of what that entailed and kind of how I started to like actually dissolve it now which is so weird <laughs> it's literally been like 11 years since that happened since you know the original trauma happened so definitely go check it out um this video will make a little bit more sense but anyway that is just kind of something that i have almost ingrained in me which i am you know working on dissolving little by little um but i think that's been a reason why a lot of times you know when i'm interested in someone or when i when someone is like interested in me I just go full on, you know, I just go like, like, I just, uh, my Venus is in Taurus, so like, when I'm in love or something, I'm like, like, I go for it, and nine out of ten times, it hasn't worked out, because, I mean, it's inevitable, I feel like I come on clingy, I come off as, um, desperate, and anxious, you know, and that's definitely the energy that I'm giving off, like, I'm well aware of that now. Um, and you know, I'm not, not, and not that I'm sorry about it either. Like, I just, I'm just aware of like now of like how that has manifested, but I'm not sorry for it. Um, and as a result, that has really been like kind of my, my hindrance, you know, it's this, this kind of feeling of not having enough, this feeling of like not being where I want to be, not having enough, all of this kind of manifesting into me actively trying to like get more you know and kind of get to where i think i want to be but the reality is we are where we want to be we already are in the place that we have to be right now what we have right now around us is enough and it's so hard to accept that when you're in a headspace of like oh i don't like i just don't I'm not where I want to be. Like, I know I could be more successful. I know I could be more this. Like, it's it's these expectations that we set up for ourselves, which are inevitable because, you know, the society um, encourages us to have expectations and goals like that for ourselves. Well, expectations. I wouldn't say so much goals because those are two different things. But it's these expectations that, you know, we kind of work towards and we kind of, like, strive for. And then all of a sudden we realize we're nowhere near there and that kind of gives us some kind of like existential crisis which then makes us fall into like this deep pit of like 
self, you know, loathing self, um, like it just diminishes our self confidence and makes us desperate for anything that will make us feel whole again, really, or like successful or like enough. And we have the capacity to feel like we're enough. We have that capacity. We are so, y'all, I will never stop saying this. Humans are just the most magnificent creatures on the planet. We have so much capacity. We have so much, just, we have limitless potential, you know, within our limits, within our confines. And it's just amazing that we spend a lot of our lives limiting ourselves and it's feeling like we cannot break out of something when in fact whatever you know the whatever things happen to us that kind of put us in that headspace are simply a moment in time and it sucks because you know we're we don't have an emphasis on mental health in this country um in the world even but once you realize that, that you have the tools to to deal with trauma to deal with unfortunate things that happen to you and you have a network to like fall back on and talk to and and just kind of exists with for me i think that's that's really like all we need is that connection to ourselves and to others to really really get over the things that happen to us in life and to just keep on moving forward and keep on doing what we're meant to do in this life and so for that reason or i'd rather like because of that, I feel like we all have the potential to feel like we're enough within us. We all have that potential for self-love. We all have the potential to feel like, like we are where we're meant to be right now. And once you accept that, that's when magic begins to happen. That's when you, when you feel centered and at peace with your existence and, you know, Maybe, maybe you come across this realization at your job that you wish you weren't at, or on the way to your job, which you're like dreading, you know, going to. Once you accept, like, you know what, this is my life. Um, it's okay to accept that you're not happy. It's okay to accept that, um, you know, you have what you need, and it's okay to need more. It's okay to want more. And maybe that's where you take the jump, you know, to the next phase of your life. And so for me, it's been really, it's been really challenging, especially in romance, because it's so hard to feel like I'm enough. Because romance in my life has been this thing where I just, oh my God, like, I feel like when I am in a relationship, when I'm in love, like, my whole world sings, everything's full of color. Um, I just feel so powerful and limitless. But, you know, like as soon as something happens or I fall out of love, that's when bad things happen. And that's when I feel like I'm worthless and I I don't have anything to offer you know, the world. Um, simply because I don't have that connection, that romantic connection with another human. And that, girl, that stems from, like, deeper traumas, which we're not going to get into right now. There's always work to be done, right? But for me, like, coming across a realization in the last video, um, or, like, just putting everything together that, that, like, you know, I just had no control over what happened to me. And unfortunately, I didn't have that network or that those, those tools to deal with what happened to me. Um... Realizing that these things that come up, these traumas, these triggers, um, are simply, you know, purely, like, biological or, like, you know, psychological, and that they, they like, they don't, they don't narrate my life, that, like, I, I'm literally the one that's narrating my life. I can literally choose to put whatever meaning I want to whatever happens to me and follow that, you know? So, why not choose an empowering one why not choose one that says i'm a badass bitch i can fucking take whatever life throws at me and even if i can't i know i have the tools to deal with it why not choose that you know and unfortunately we don't all grow up learning that we have that power you know to define our narratives so 
girl, this is your permission to define your narrative, to break away, break away from the things that don't serve you anymore. Like these stories that you've told yourself for years about maybe how you're not good enough, about how you're just not enough, period. I invite you to tell yourself, yeah, I am enough. I am enough. I have enough. I am right where I need to be. And it's okay to want more for myself. And it's okay to take actions to get that. Like I said in my last video, I'm less and less worried about what comes next for me. Like, why not just enjoy this moment? And so that's a thought for the day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave you with that. Have a beautiful day.